the first alert with the WKYT weather app. 48 hours, tonight at 10, 9 central on CBS. Morning. It is August 20th, 2022. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Tropical storm warning. A system along the Gulf Coast could intensify today and become a powerful cyclone. Millions could feel the effects. We'll have the latest forecast. Trump's next move. CBS News has learned the former president's legal team will go to a Florida judge regarding the raid on Mar-a-Lago. What they're asking for that could dramatically change the FBI's investigation. Tackling the heat with temperatures soaring around the globe, some cities have appointed officials to help their residents survive the scorching summers. We'll take you to Spain and Florida to meet the people tasked with saving lives. And historic discovery. After more than a century of being lost at sea, divers find the first U.S. destroyer sunk during World War I. Find out how those who sank it helped find it. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Your world in 90 seconds. A strong system is moving through the Gulf of Mexico right now. We've got tropical storm warnings up for northeastern Mexico and all the way up to Port Mansfield, Texas. And this will bring strong winds and some moisture into South Texas, and this will contribute to flooding farther to the north. Russia and Ukraine are accusing each other of staging a false flag attack at Europe's biggest nuclear power plant. A high-ranking ISIS fighter will now serve life in prison in the U.S. for his role in the kidnappings and murders of four Americans. U.S. justice will find you wherever you are. In New York City, authors and friends of Salman Rushdie spoke out on his behalf on the steps of the New York Public Library one week after he was attacked on stage. I am here because Salman Rushdie's words matter. Tech giant Apple is urging users to update their devices now after discovering a vulnerability in its operating systems. What we don't know right now is who's actually exploited this vulnerability and how it's been exploited. Wild video is a small plane crash lands on a street in Orlando, Florida. Atlanta Braves outfielder Marcel Ozuna has been arrested and charged with driving under the influence. A Florida woman finds an uninvited guest swimming in her backyard pool. The homeowner said she woke up, opened the blinds, and saw an alligator in her swimming pool. They didn't go over this in the uh, okay. academy. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch. And that is a liner into center field. The Savannah Bananas play an entertaining modified version of baseball, and it includes a player on stilts. He gets his first hit of the season. And miracles do indeed happen, folks. Dakota Stilts Albritton has lined his first base hit in his Bananas career. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. And what do you say about that? It was the animals playing the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> no tall tales told. There it is. Minor, Way to go. Those, those, well, you got the banana coat on. I think I, you look cool. This banana looks color. much better than that. I don't mean to Thank you. disparage Thank you, it in any way. <laughs> uh, we have a minor league related story coming up, which we is do. We very do. fun later on. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glore, along with Michelle Miller and Dana Jacobson. This morning, we're going to take you to a place that perhaps defines the city that never sleeps. New York's Fulton Fish Market once supplied two-thirds of the nation's seafood. And at 2 a.m., it is a whirlwind of sights and sounds. We're going to take you inside the building and tell you about the storied history of this landmark as it adapts to ever-changing palates and an ever-changing city. Then he was a mastermind behind influential music videos by Missy Elliott, Puff Daddy, and Busta Rhymes. But that was not enough for Ron Norsworthy, who has now gone on to launch his own design firm catering to some of the biggest clientele around. We'll introduce you to him and find out the career move that transformed his entire life. Also, Jeff mentioned it. You saw it in the eye opener. Bringing the fun to minor league baseball is key to a successful season. And that includes includes the names, you know, those local teams like the Rocket City Trash Pandas or the Richmond Flying Squirrels. 
We're going to take you inside the business branding minor league teams across the country. Very cool. Plus, we'll go to Los Angeles to meet a chef who is growing his business as well as the food that makes up his delicious menu. Chef Michael Reed later in The Dish. And we will wrap things up with a prolific performer who has released over 16 albums, scored a Judd Apatow film, and even did some acting in the most recent season of Fargo. Grammy nominee Andrew Bird has his band, and he'll take the stage in our Saturday session. That and so much more is all ahead. But we begin this morning with tropical storm warnings from a system that could affect millions along the Gulf Coast. It's currently 230 miles southeast of the Rio Grande and clocking winds of 35 miles an hour. And it could intensify and become a powerful cyclone today. The system has already brought torrential rain to Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Meanwhile, parts of New Mexico and Arizona are on high alert for heavy rain and potential flash flooding again today. And in the southwest, monsoon rains flooded streets in and around Phoenix on Friday. Meteorologist Reynolds Wolf of our partners at the Weather Channel is tracking the nation's weather and has more on the storm threat. Reynolds, good morning. 